A group of organisms in a given habitat, when they are interacting, then they become a biotic community, all right, at species level. They are not a biotic community until we use the word interaction. So, it is all about interaction of living species within themselves that makes a biotic community and when those biotic communities interact within themselves and as well as the environmental factor that becomes an ecosystem. So, it is the term interaction that is playing an important role in both the definitions and what we are going to see in terms of biotic community first of all is the intraspecific interactions. Before we move to the interspecific interactions which are pivotal in understanding biotic community, we have to see that within the species also there are certain interactions which are taking place. So what are those intraspecific interactions? The first one is mating. Those students who are fond of watching channels, television channels like Animal Planet, Discovery Channel, they must be knowing that there is a lot of competition in terms of mating. So mating primarily is example of intraspecific competition where male or female, rarely female, there are barely any female encounters or competition for mating process. Mostly they are dominated by cases where males fight for each other, fight within each other for a female and that is meant for mating purpose. There are certain organisms or there are certain species which have uh, developed a mechanism of uh, social uh, living in such a way that the head is chosen but there also there are chances of competition where two organisms in the belonging to the same species would be fighting within themselves in order to portray themselves as the best candidate for the female to mate with that given organism okay so that is one intraspecific interaction that is of mating then moving further we have the intraspecific interaction of communication species within themselves have a mechanism of communication. Now, I would give you an example of auditory communication that you would see in the case of birds. Have you ever seen, uh, have you ever witnessed such a scenario where it happens that a bird's nest or a bird, uh, birds, a group of birds is being attacked by some sort of predator, say a snake is uh, coming over there, they make so much of noise, what they are trying to tell, they are sending auditory communication to their uh, species, with uh, to their uh, friends and uh, relatives that there is danger. So that is a type of communication. Also there are many other methods in which the organism can communicate within the species. So auditory is one such mes uh, method. Then there is uh, thermal communication, there is communication which is temporal, there is olfactory communication by uh, spreading out some chemicals in the given atmosphere or the habitat. So those are the methods of communication which is a type of intraspecific interaction where the organisms belonging to same species are going to interact with each other in such a way that some or other messages given by their activities. Moving further, we have a special type of social behavior shown by animals that is known as altruism. Altruism. Sorry. A L T U I R I S M. Now this is a psychological term, you must be knowing, this is a psychological term that is referred when you study about human behavior as well. Now what is this uh, human behavior if, we, if you have heard of this term? It generally, if it is to be translated in English, it is understood as a behavior where you see the benefit of others. Okay, By your activity, you are seeking the benefit of other person. As we have sacrificing nature, you may, you may say that uh, there are examples when we see that the mother is sacrificing, uh, putting herself at stake so that the child can go better. Okay, so you are putting your benefit at stake and giving benefit to other, you are thinking good of the other, that is altruism in common uh, usage that we have. 
when we talk about animal behavior it is that phenomena where activity of one organism is responsible for betterment of the other and it in turn reduces the survival instinct or the survival capacity of the other one okay that is altruism i'm going to repeat it that unlike the altruism which was uh, present in humans altruism in animal behavior is one such term where action or activity of one organism is restricting the activity of others all right or it could be opposite that is what altruism is all about the example is that of spiders uh, the male spider, um, the female spider, it, there, are, there is an example of spiders, there, the male and female spider, the male spider allows the female to eat itself so that it can fertilize. After fertilization, the eggs are to be formed, the offsprings are to be generated. So the male spider which has fertilized the female allows the female spider to eat it. All right, so that is one type of altruistic behavior that you observe in the animal interactions. Also, there is example of worker bees. They are working at the cost of their own survival for the queen bee. So, they are declining their own reproductive potential and in turn giving benefit to someone other. It can act opposite as well. Some behavior is going to restrict the other organisms developmental behavior that is altruism now we have mating we have communication we have altruism another type of social behavior that organisms show is the prenatal care that is often the female shows prenatal care the male also shows prenatal care to the female counterpart so that healthy offsprings are born so these are the few intraspecific specific interactions that you have to keep in mind you see this entire subject of ethology that is studying the animal behavior is quite diverse so i have restricted you to these four terms that too in a very short description i have tried to explain these terms do remember about this term and remaining whatever examples you get to see around you you can uh, memorize them otherwise as i told you the scope of this uh, particular study is very very huge and moreover we are learning many things so it's better to restrict what we study for exam and that is this much only so with this we uh, finish up intra specific interactions because they are numerous what we study and what is uh, categorically mentioned in our syllabus that we have to study is interspecific interactions and that we cover in coming lessons.